I don't tell him my name because I don't want to be on a first name basis with this giant of a guy who can easily break me in half. I don't want to encourage him to say anything or do anything or think anything. Thankfully, he keeps his distance. But he stands there, watching me with melting golden eyes, a surprise on his knife chiseled face. He's rough and somehow raw and sensual. I bet every girl who sees him wants to screw him. The very thought makes me frantically shovel sand and weeds. I vainly attempt to chop saw grass. The shovel's blade is dull and the sand slides back against the tire. Sweat beads on my brow and my hands burn. Normally I would abandon this futile endeavor, but if I stop digging, I have to deal with Ethan. I can hear my father in memory. Don't drive anywhere you don't want to be stuck if you break down. It's not as if I am driving through the hood. Of course, then I hear my mother chime in memory. And don't drive at any hour you don't want to be stuck if you break down. Busted there. Shall I admit they are right? No. I'm not scared. Not much, anyway. If Ethan wants to hurt me, he's already had opportunity. There's no one around. No one to notice. He could have his way with me right here on the side of the road, and if I scream, no one will be the wiser. But truth be told, I suspect he has made lots of girls scream. With pleasure.